Here in Greece, poverty can be seen wherever you look. The result of mass layoffs, wage cuts and huge tax increases. Many people have been fighting for economic survival since the debt crisis took hold. The government loses an estimated one-third of its fiscal revenue every year, over 10 billion euros, through tax evasion. But now the authorities are out to change that. Inspectors like Tina Papodi and Nikos Tsipinikos pay surprise visits to business owners. Tax dodgers face hefty fines and closures. The aim is to make people aware of the seriousness of tax evasion. Night is descending upon Athens. People are preparing to enjoy the cool of the evening after a hot day. Tina Papoti and Nikos Tsepenikos start their patrol through the Greek capital's amusement district, Plaka. The two inspectors are on the lookout for tax dodgers. A few tables over there. And a lot of people sitting outside. Are you the owner? We're tax inspectors. We have permission to search your premises. Is the till inside? Can we enter, please? Here's our papers. We would like to see all your bills, please. And we'd like a receipt for 10 cents. Each bill lists how many receipts were issued that day, an important clue for the inspectors. Many guests don't ask for a bill and with VAT at 24%, the temptation is great to pocket the cash. For owner Paris Kostakiotis, this is an unwelcome visit. The tax inspectors come for no reason. It is very embarrassing in front of our guests. We are afraid of these spot checks. Some of the inspectors are friendly, but others try to intimidate us. It is embarrassing because the inspectors must also question the guests. Law requires a bill for every order to be placed visibly on the table. This owner has nothing to fear. He abides by the law. We are quite happy that the last one or two years, I think uh, all this um, effort that our ministry and uh, our coll my colleagues too is paying off. Because they know that we are outside all the time, we work uh, too many hours, we, we work 24 hours, 7. So nowadays the business uh, are really quite fond of that. Quite... Word has got out that the inspectors are doing their rounds. The bar owners warn each other, so the inspectors have to move to a new district. They head for Syntagma Square. Their suspicions are aroused in a cocktail bar. There are no bills on the tables. It seems the owner is pocketing the cash. Good evening. We're tax office inspectors. Could you give me a bill for 10 cents, please? We want one immediately. That's not a bill, just an order. Just 32 bills for the entire day? Let's take a closer look around. This is the second time the owner of this bar has been caught. His fine is doubled to 500 euros. He won't speak to us while the camera is running. Outside, some guests are sympathetic. Under my 
The government steals our money with all the high taxes, and business people steal it back. If we had lower taxes or the money was used for welfare, dodging taxes wouldn't be good. But as things are, you can't really blame the bar owner. The biggest problems in the Greek economy are the high taxes and the question of how fairly people pay them. I think essential products should have lower tax rates and luxury goods higher ones. That would be a bit fairer. We need more checks so business owners understand they have to give people receipts and pay taxes. Then there wouldn't be any fines and everything would be okay. This is our job, uh, to try to um, protect the good businessmen from the, 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 the struggling to, to get along, struggling to pay their taxes from the businessmen that they don't do and they steal. Because the VAT is something that the clients pay. When they get their drinks, they pay the total amount and the VAT. If the, if the receipt is not out there, the VAT is going to the owner's uh, pocket. Time to pay a visit to an antiques dealer in central Athens. Greek TV crews are already waiting. A new law allows the authorities to close down businesses of re-offenders and expose them to the media. All part of the war on the current 10 billion euros or more in undeclared income every year. Now, antiques dealer Arena Safela is the target. She's accused of pocketing several hundred euros of undeclared income. Life for small business owners here in Greece is sheer hell. Some days we sell nothing at all. We don't earn a single euro. But we pay high taxes. And then there are all the fines. It's a huge problem. Her premises are sealed for 48 hours. Now her customers know she has dodged paying taxes. This is the best thing that we can do to pursue them to be correct and uh, don't violate the law. It's something that they're afraid of because the fines are really not uh, so big that I was telling you about. But uh, when they close them for 48 hours, it's something uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's bad for their business. The ferry takes us to the Saronic island of Egina. More than 350 inspectors hunt for tax dodgers throughout Greece every day. Tina Papoti wants to do her bit to change Greece, although as a civil servant, she has had to take a 40% pay cut. The 16,000 euros she now earns every year are just enough to make ends meet. Papoti speaks a number of foreign languages. The daughter of an Air Force pilot, she has lived in the US and Germany. There, she found that most people abide by the law. A good thing, she says. Living on abroad, I saw that the countries that uh, have this kind of mentality, it really works for everybody more. So I got it from my family and I saw that it's really working. And I, I really hope sometimes, so, some, sometime in the near future, most of the Greeks have this kind of mentality because we just need a little organization more. I think this is what we need. We need to respect our rules a little bit more and everything will work out. We arrive on the island. Agina is a holiday island popular with visitors from nearby Athens. For many here, tourism is the sole source of income. At first glance, everything seems okay. But after a lengthy search, the inspectors find a small restaurant. Most of the tables are occupied, but no bills in sight. We film with a hidden camera. Have you issued any receipts today? No, we do that later in the afternoon. Every guest gets one. And those people just ordered, and I issued a bill too. Well, only when we said we're tax inspectors. No, we always give our guests a receipt. Look at the ones we did yesterday. And what use are they to me?
The owner protests in vain. The moment you serve a dish without a bill, you're evading taxes. But I was very busy. That's no excuse. They don't care about small family businesses. My wife, my son, my daughter, they all work here. We only have one employee to wash the dishes. But we can hardly make ends meet. Social welfare payments are enormous, but what can I do? I need to retire one day. The two tax inspectors know that for some of the people who receive a fine it is a harsh blow. But their bosses expect them to catch one out of four businesses they inspect. The government wants to get the message across. We try to be present. We want the bar owners to change the way they operate. We would much rather collect VAT than fines. Now maybe they are just afraid, scared of us. When we are still out there, every time, then in some time in the near future, they will get used to it, they will uh, wait for us, they, they know we are here. So after that, maybe the next generation will just uh, change of a mentality. Actually, things are already changing. There's been a drop in tax evasion figures, but poverty and unemployment still remain widespread in a country with one of the highest tax rates in Europe.